Today we'll be looking at the Okidata Microline 320 Turbo Printer and how to properly configure it to work with Desk Manager. Here are the buttons on this printer. We'll get into more detail on these momentarily, but for now we're going to look at the sliders. The left slider should be pushed all the way to the right, and the right slider should be positioned so your paper fits perfectly into the printer, assuming you are feeding your forms into the top. You also want to look on the right side of your printer and make sure your selector switch is in the middle for top feed. While we're over here, let's take a look at a few other things on the right side of this printer. First we have the power switch, which turns the printer on and off. Next we have the roller, which rolls the paper up and down in your printer. You never want to touch it though. Moving back to the front of the printer, we have the print quality and character pitch settings. When printing from Desk Manager, these settings do not matter because the information is fed from your computer to your printer. Now we'll move on to configuring the internal settings on your printer. Take a blank sheet of paper and drop it in your printer. The printer should automatically pull the paper down and turn the alarm light off. Next we need to put the printer into menu mode by holding down the shift button and pressing the SEL button. If you've done this correctly, the menu light should turn on. If it doesn't come on, turn your printer off for 10 seconds and turn it back on and try again. You will also need to press a series of buttons on the front of the printer to configure the internal settings. When you're in menu mode, each button you press will print out one line, like this. You are now looking at some sample settings for your printer. There are five important ones that we need to set. It's okay if the settings on your printer look different than the ones we have on screen if we do not mention them. Now that you're in menu mode, press the group button. This should say either printer control emulation mode or general control emulation mode. If it says anything other than IBM PPR in the right hand column, press set until it says IBM PPR. Next press group until your paper says top feed line spacing. Once you get to top feed line spacing, press the item button on the front of your printer. Your paper should now say top feed bottom margin. This setting should be set to invalid. If it says valid, press the set button on the front of your printer. Now press item again until you reach top feed page length control. This setting should say by actual page length in the right hand column. If it says anything else, press set until it says by actual page length. Next press the group button until you reach setup graphics. From setup graphics, press the item button until you reach setup paper out override. This should say yes. If it says no, press set until it says yes. Now press item until you reach setup auto select. This setting should be set to yes. If it is set to no, press the set button until it says yes. Now you can hold the shift button and press the SEL button to turn the menu light off. When turning the menu light off, the SEL light should light back up. Now press the FF load button to eject the paper from your printer. Your printer's internal settings should now be fully configured. If you run into any problems, please call Auto Manager's Technical Support Department at 800-300-2808.